What's up everyone? Welcome back to another Akuma Skyblock video. Now, I did a lot of stuff just before this episode and we'll get into that in a minute, but let's pick the last video's giveaway winner. Their name will be up there on the screen. So make sure you do message me if you don't have it. The admin should be giving it to you pretty soon. Also, today I'm giving away an OP cluster, the Zodiac cluster, which is worth $20. And this loot box has a ton of crazy items in it. So if you do want to enter this giveaway and to have a chance to win basically $20, then make sure you do sub, leave a like, on the video and then comment your in-game name also if you don't know what server i'm playing on it is akuma mc the best op skyblock server and also prison server it's basically the best network in minecraft so come check it out the ip is zap.akumamc.net and it's also better at compatible and all of that stuff will be in the description okay so right before i started recording i bought myself a bunch of these farming books and we also have three magic site books which cost me two million money each so hopefully all these do successfully apply that one did which is nice and dude are you kidding me that was a fail and this one is a success all right so now with these five farming books what we'll want to do is click on tim with the book and we'll be able to either get treasure hunter book hunter or magic site now do i have treasure hunter maxed out i don't so we'll pick one of those and let me actually just apply it and it has an 81 percent please work and nice oh gardener alchemist and fortune actually gardener is super useful so we will take that i'm pretty sure that is a one level enchantment let me just double check oh wait no it's a level five enchantment okay that's a little interesting i wonder how it works is it like a chance of you not to break a crop i i don't know but we'll apply it that will be useful and used okay this next one we have two more to use after this oh crop crusher this one's op this one is a super rare enchantment please dude the last one we had by the way this is worth like 15 million the last one we had did not apply and that was last video okay 96 percent success please yes dude it worked thank god that worked okay treasure hunter i'll pick that guy if this one can apply this will actually max out treasure hunter and there we go that was actually really lucky to get that crop though um do we have fortune maxed we do oh wait no we don't okay so let's pick that come on can we max out fortune 93 percent and yes sweet that is an awesome start to the video and i can't wait to test out crop crusher but first let me throw this stuff into my player vault and then let's also use all of our crates i did just vote so i got eight of these crate keys please give me some mining robots okay we got really bad rewards we have so many cell wands on the island it's actually kind of ridiculous okay anyways the plan for today is let's actually see how crop crusher works Oh, wait, that was bigger than a three by three. Did you see that? Also, I did not have enough carrots in my inventory. I believe that's why it didn't replant. Come on, I want it to go off again. Oh, look at that, farming skill level up. Oh, okay, so it just went off, and yes, it does replant. We just didn't have enough carrots, and we gotta kind of fix up this farm. Oh, by the way, it looks like we do have a sugarcane farm all built and ready to go. Now, actually, this is what I do want to test, and I'm slightly curious about. So we obviously have, where is it? We have Crop Crusher, which will harvest all crops in a 3x3 three three radius. Now, does this work on sugarcane? Let's just see if it activates in the chat, and uh, I'll see if something happens. Oh, okay, it just went off. Oh, dude, it worked. It actually mined all the sugar sugarcane in that radius okay so this is really interesting let me do a quick comparison though so if we sell all 64 carrots that is fourteen hundred dollars and sugarcane is six hundred forty dollars so so far it turns out that carrots are actually the most profitable crop to farm which is actually super interesting considering it's one of the most early on crops what i have to do now is i have to replant our entire farm just to make it like not bad also vote party just went off and we did get three cloud crickies which is pretty pretty cool so i'll cut back in a little bit i'm just going to place down all of these carrots all right so i don't have that many carrots left but what i'm doing is just kind of filling in all the gaps that i accidentally broke earlier and then after we do farm enough i'll just keep replanting the carrots i was doing a slight bit of testing and i want to show you how a gardener works it's kind of weird also speed it just glitches me i hate it and i have to fly which i don't know i don't really like that i wish i could toggle speed off on my hoe now this is how gardener works if i break it once it activates 
slides, but then if I break it again, it breaks. So I feel like that could be a slight issue. I don't really know though. Like we'll just have to kind of experiment with it. Okay, so it should be pretty much all good in this small section. Now, if I fly forward like this, will I accidentally break things or will I be good? All right, so let's check it out. It doesn't seem, okay, we did break a little bit. Yeah, I think we need a higher gardener enchantment. I think that'll prevent us from breaking all the lower tier crops. What we'll do is let this little patch kind of regrow so I don't break it all again. And in the meantime, I'm going to search on the auction house and see if we can find any more farming books. And honestly, now that I think about it, this is kind of why I feel like sugarcane is really convenient. Nether wart could be really good too. If I farm it like this, it'll be decent. Oh, look at that. The crop crusher went off and it broke all of that. This might be the best way to farm. I don't know. There's so much experimenting that we have to do. And also, I feel like melons are so bad for farming because I can't even use my hoe. So there's really no point in even doing this. So the strat here is to hold a W and A and then just farm like this. And honestly, right now, we're not really even trying to make money from farming. So I guess this could be the best way to do it because just like that, we already got two more farming books. I'll figure out the best way to make money from farming after we like fully max this hoe out. Oh, we just got another one. I'm going to do one full harvest of this farm and we'll see how many books we get. Also, by the way, I did compare uh, the carrots to the sugarcane a little bit earlier, but something I forgot about is that you actually get two sugarcane per harvest, which is something I definitely should have factored in. So let me double check here. So selling one thing of carrots is $1,400, but then selling two things of sugarcane is $1,280. So it's not much less and this is a lot more convenient. And honestly, you might be able to farm a lot quicker because this seems a lot more efficient than carrot farming. We'll definitely have to run some calculations later on and kind of come up with the best way to farm. As I said, in the last few videos, I haven't actually seen anyone who's really big into farming. So this could be a huge way to make a lot of money, but it'll just take some time to get a maxed out hoe, obviously. I am really curious to see though what a maxed out crop crusher would be because this is going off quite frequently. And I wonder if it'll break an area like every single time you harvest a crop. That would be crazy. All right, we're about to finish farming this entire farm. There we go. And we got ourselves three farming books, which we can actually open all of those. Let me sell all. And we also got ourselves 10 cloud keys. And oh yeah, that vote keys from earlier from the vote party that just went off. But 10 cloud keys, not bad at all. But we didn't get much. We actually just got another speed enchant book though. So I actually do want to use the speed enchant book now because speed is actually quite useful for this. All right, but let's go to the enchanter. Let's see if this speed activates. There we go. Nice. It did apply. And then we got these three to use. Come on, give some crop crushers. Uh, no. All right, so we could get another level of speed or we could get magic sight, which magic sight goes all the way up to level 10. So let's get a speed. Nice. There we go. So now speed is fully maxed out. That is pretty awesome. And oh, okay. So let's get the gardener. And there we go. Nice. We have treasure hunter, book hunter, and I don't think exp finder is max. So we'll get that book. Honestly, not too terrible. We weren't getting any books that we already had fully maxed out. And okay, great. Of course it failed. All right. So while I'm waiting for the sugar cane to grow, I'm just going to farm my nether wart. Also, holy crap, dude. The crop crusher just went off like four times in a row. Oh, we got a full inventory. Sell all. Let me just throw all these cranky drops into the player vault. And we do have another cloud key. Actually, we could buy another magic site. So let's do that. Actually, let me go see if we can claim our minions. 1.23 mil. Nice. Okay. Okay, let's claim all that profit and now we have over 2 million which means we can buy another one just like that all right let's head back to the warp enchanter all right please work dude are you kidding me that's two mil down the drain but that one did apply so magic site is currently at level five we can get five more levels for this we can get exp finder to level five celestial hunter can be level five archaeologist gardener and crop crusher can all be level five and then that is kind of maxing out the pickaxe i believe that's all the enchantments we can get and they probably will come out with more in the future but my whole strat is to max everything out then farm a crap load of books and then we can start selling the crop crusher for like 15 million a piece and as you saw right there magic site those books sell for 2 million so we can make some serious cash okay yeah it's actually the next day and i was afk all night and they did a massive key all and oh my god 49 cloud keys 13 vote keys 24 storm and 12 tempest keys bro we gotta get a mining minion today let's open all the cloud keys come on please give us some good stuff holy crap we have so many rewards there's something that actually was added to the 
server, which is really interesting. You can now combine cell wands together. So as you can see, we now have a 1200 use cell wand. So this means we can use it 1200 times before it breaks. And that's actually a really cool feature they added because now we can just drag and drop them all into each other and just condense them down and save a lot of inventory space. 2,450 uses. That's actually pretty cool. But let's throw in all of our lower tier keys and obviously the storm keys as well. And we'll save all of the tempest for last. Okay. Uh... I don't really know if we got anything. I think a random tag might actually be worth a lot. And we obviously did get a bunch of different spawners. Almost 6,000 uses. What the heck? We have so many different fly times. And we do have a lot of these block tickets. So we'll place those down soon. But I'm really curious on how much random tags go for. Holy crap. Custom tags go for 250 million? That's kind of crazy. All right. Let's throw in all the Tempest keys. Come on, dude. Give me a mining robot. Are you kidding me? That was terrible. Oh. Oh, dude, we just got two permanent fly times. That's actually really good. Wait, and this cell wand's unlimited. What the? Okay, let's actually use this random tag. So we got the check mark, the simp tag, and then also the Akuma tag. All right, I'll equip this one. Now when we type in the chat, hello, I have the Akuma tag. Now, to be honest, that opening sucked, but let's open all of our block tickets up. I'll just spam open these. Our current island value is only a million, and if we do check slash IS top, you can just see that there's there's no chance of us even getting in the top 10. We are in position 324. I'm pretty sure all of my island members basically quit. And I think what I'll do next season is either team up with some YouTubers or I'll just play solo. But yeah, so we're at 1.03 mil island value. Let me place all my blocks and see what we get to. And lastly, diamonds. Okay, so it looks like our value didn't go up at all. Maybe it takes a little bit to update. But yeah, I would say today was definitely a success. We got the crop crusher enchantment. Hopefully, maybe in the next episode we can fully max out farming but what i really want to do is start getting some more op loot boxes and we can do that from the battle pass so maybe in the next videos we'll just try completing all of the quests so that we can actually claim all these new rewards because look at this we can get three airdrops a bunch of crate keys and eventually these high tier rewards give you some really good things so yeah it'll just take a lot of time oh look at that six airdrops but thank you all for watching and i'll see you all later